Welcome to a video on the digital lifestyle to come. In this video we're going to have a look at the TP-Link N600 dual band Wi-Fi entertainment adapter. So the idea of this device is it's for devices without wireless connections so it could be your TV or your Blu-ray player or, um, or a PC or anything that doesn't have wireless and you don't have wired networking to it then this device will bridge your wired network your wireless network to a wired network so um, and I've also got this hooked up to a dual band uh, TP-Link router to get the best uh, performance out of it as well so we can have a look and uh, see how it works so uh, let's have a look what's in the box So there we've got the adapter, the wireless adapter, and in the box you get a USB power supply, which uses a micro USB cable and Ethernet port, and uh, sort of the connection instructions. So what I'm going to do for this video, I haven't actually got that many non-wireless devices that we can play around and look at the transfer speed, so, but I have found the an old laptop that I can use, so I've plugged it to my monitor here. So what we're going to do is um, get this up and then I'll uh, try copying some files and we'll have a look at the performance because the idea with this is, okay you may be limited by your internet bandwidth or whatever, but if you're streaming videos around the house from say a home server or a, a NAS box or something, you need performance. So we're going to see what this little box can do. Okay, so I've plugged the adapter into my router now and um, there's two ways we can connect this up using the uh, WPS quick start sort of option or you can do it through uh, the browser which is what I'm going to do. So it asks for a username and password and then I'll log into that. Okay so we're connected here. Uh, so I can just walk through the setup now. Um, region now it's looking for wireless networks that it can extend okay so I'm gonna so I can choose which uh, ones I want to use so I'm gonna go with the uh, 5 gigahertz one so it's gonna ask me my password and this is the password to the network, uh, my main network. Which okay, so there we are, we're connected up now. So uh, this is this machine's connected via Ethernet to the, uh, to the TP-Link box. Uh, we're just on Ethernet and we've got power and it's now extending the wireless network, the LAN. So it's got uh, four, USB, uh, four Ethernet ports on here, I'm using just one. It's very light actually, very compact, so it could easily fit behind a TV or whatever, powered by USB, so you could probably you could possibly power it from a TV. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at copying some files. Okay, so I'm now going to try copying this video file, this 2 gig video file, 2.53 actually, from my uh, PC downstairs which is connected by Ethernet to the TP-Link router, and I'm going to copy this file over here. Let's have a look at the transfer speed we get. So we're getting there six, six megaseconds, so we're getting really uh, decent speed there uh, for a, a big video file. Now if I was doing this over uh, my old router I would have guessed I would go about two or three meg per second. So really good performance on this device. So great if you're streaming uh, HD video files from a, a NAS box or home server to your Blu-ray player. And the main thing is, well, you're getting consistency as well, so I'm not seeing drops. Now, the router that I'm using is downstairs in a cupboard. I'm upstairs here, and uh, with my old router, I did get some network dropouts. This is very solid performance, so that's really uh, good connection. So there we go, very simple setup, we can uh, do it through the WPS option on the router, we can just go through the browser, it seems very simple, all you need to know is your 
password for your wireless network. It's dual band, so best at the 5 gigahertz range that gets you the best performance. As you see, we've got decent performance out of it. it takes one micro USB power cable, and um, so I've got to think you could perhaps power this. It comes with a, ch with a charger or a power adapter. But I'm, I'm guessing you could power this off some TVs. You could plug it straight behind your TV if you didn't have wireless on there, and you've got three other ports as well. So stick this where you've got your AV equipment and you've got a wired network there running at a decent speed. So that's the TP-Link uh, dual band uh, entertainment adapter with four ports, that's the N600. Works really well with uh, dual band products, so I'm getting some really decent speed out of that. And uh, price and availability in the show notes, thanks to TP-Link for sending me this to give this a try. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, we've got lots more videos on there, or see you at thedigitallifestyle.com.